Hey, this is Drew Baird from Moon Audio, and welcome back to uh, Tech Tuesday Answer Session on Thursday. So what I posed on Tuesday was, uh, why do we need Apple CCKs, Android OTG adapters, etc.? Essentially, what these are are communicators to the device to tell them to output digital audio to your device. Why they did this? Well, for Apple, we know why. So they can make lots of dongles and lots of money off of you, right? So essentially, in this CCK, there is what's known as an Apple coprocessor chip. This chip essentially tells your phone you can now let music play through the cables to your amp DAC. It's a pain in the butt. We wish we could get this out of the way. We do make a MFI certified lightning cable, but Apple will not let us put that coprocessor chip in this cable. Why? Well, then they can't sell these, so they want to make money. So, unfortunately, unless you've got a product that has an Apple MFI certified coprocessor chip in it, like this here, Ultrasone Panther uh, D to A converter and headphone amplifier, this has that chip, you can't listen to music with your DAC. So, for example, we've sold a million you know, mo cord mojos over the years. Uh, I wish that many, but lots of cord mojos over the years. And they do not have a coprocessor chip in it. So this has to be used at, along with a USB cable like I have here. Here is my iPhone. Here is my CCK that I'm going to plug in. Here is our Silver Dragon USB cable plugged into the Cord Hugo. Now we can output audio to the Cord Hugo. Is this a pain in the neck? Yes. The solution is Cord can go to Apple and get their product MFI certified, but I don't blame Cord because they have to essentially provide Apple with all of their devices, let them look at all of their engineering, study their designs, etc. I'm sure Apple, if they really wanted to, can go out and buy that stuff from Cord anyway, but the bottom line is Cord doesn't want to deal with that. So we're somewhat stuck with this Apple CCK. Uh, otherwise, like I said, you have to go with the DAC amplifier that has an MFI certified chip in it and there aren't many around anymore because it's a very complicated process to go through with Apple. A similar thing goes on with Android but not as complicated. Okay so this is an OTG adapter cable and, and it doesn't necessarily have to mimic the CCK. I'm just showing you this one because it's similar in that it's a USB-A on one side that you can plug in any kind of USB cable and then a, a USB-C on this side that you would plug into your Android device. Um, we obviously make, as you can see here, our own OTG cables that will have that USB-C connector on one end for this iBaso DX300, for example, that'll go to whatever you need down the line. And in this case, with the Cord Cutis, we're using a USB-B connector. Okay. Now we can use any connector here and this cable is easily and readily available from us because we don't have to go through an Apple MFI certification like we had to do with this cable. We can only produce a certain length, termination type and whatnot when we build these Apple cables. So the only option you're going to see on our website is the lightning to USB-A option uh, for any MFI certified DAC. But with Androids, we can make anything on the fly. And essentially, the way that works is there's no coprocessor chip in the connection. We, we simply have a different grounding effect where we tie uh, the ground to the shell, which essentially tells your Android device, whether it be an Android phone, Android tablet, uh, an iBaso that uses Android OS, Astell and Kearns, there's all kinds of options out there. We can pin that out so that you can get the digital audio from your device to your DAC. So when you go to our USB cable pages, you'll see some cables that say OTG at the end and some that don't. To confuse you a little bit further, a lot of laptops now are coming out with USB-C. And USB-C, in its own way, becomes somewhat of an OTG cable, and so you don't have to specify it. So sometimes you're going to see on our website the drop-down menu where we're doing USB-C to something else and we don't mention OTG. Not to worry, that's most likely because you want to purchase it for a computer device that has a, a C connection. Uh, obviously, there are other OTG connections on devices of older generation like the Micro B and the Mini B that we can still create OTG cables for you for those legacy products. Some people keep their phones forever and we can still take care of you to get that digital audio off your phone. 
Um, so hopefully I've helped explain a little bit about this complicated process. I know it can be very confusing. I'd say USB cable connection points are probably the most confusing topic we have here at Moon Audio. We are going to write a, a long blog on it, but it is still very complicated and confusing. So if, so if you don't understand which connection device you have, make sure to click the contact us link on our website. Tell us the devices you're trying to connect to, and we can tell you when and when you don't need an OTG or an Apple CCK, etc. You will notice with some of the newer uh, Apple products that are coming out with USB-C, in that situation, you no longer need this coprocessor chip. You can use a USB-C cable uh, to whatever connection on the other side uh, that doesn't need to have that coprocessor chip. So Apple is making it a little bit easier with their Pro components, but until they start doing a USB-C on their phones, we're stuck with that Apple CCK. Hopefully I've helped you understand this a little bit. Stay tuned, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you next Tuesday for Tech Tuesday questions. Thank you.